What is up you guys? Good morning and welcome to another vlog. Today is gonna be another great day because I have the key for the Polestar 2 and we are gonna be test driving this today. So without further ado, let's go. First of all, they have a really nice office here in West Vancouver, but we're not here for the office, we're here for the test drive, so let's go out. You can just wave your feet there, it's going to open up. Seats, they fold 60-40 with a pass-through, uh, okay. so if skis or golf club or something, go right through there. Uh, yeah. So, so these are just like then. chargers that you can bring wherever, and that would like... Yeah, exactly. You can, most of the time you'll plug it in at home. Um, yeah, so that's the 110 regular okay. outlet and that's like when your washer, dryer, oven plugs in too. Gotcha. Yeah, so this is the interface Google has partnered with mm. us um, for the infotainment system. So they got some pretty nice shortcuts here. Shortcuts that show um, nearby charging stations, coffee shops. Nice. Grocery stores. And because it's Google, you can say anything. Like you can say, show me nearby Tim Hortons or anything at that. Right. And you can prompt it by saying, change temperature to 22 degrees. Okay, changing the temperature to 22 degrees. And you can say, like, turn on heated steering wheel, turn on heated seat, so it's nice so you don't have to poke around the tablet. Right. Um, this car tab up here, you can change the steering feel, light or firm. Anytime you slow down or brake, uh, it regens, even on and off, but if I press lower standard, I'm now activating one pedal drive. Got it. So um, what is, like, the difference between, like, the... Low is just, it's it glides a bit more, it's not as aggressive. Standard, if I let go of the pedal, it will really start to slow down gotcha um yeah that's the one of pedal but it's nice because you can turn it off and drive like a normal car right um what's the creep creep on creep? creep is just rolling or not rolling so let's say if we're at a red light right now i actually don't need to step on to the brake pedal it won't roll no matter how so you just you you're just stopped yeah basically on a long commute you can just relax your feet kind of thing um there are two packages um, on this particular unit. It's called the Plus package. Uh, Plus gives you a wireless charger for your phone. Okay. Glass roof, heated rear seats, heated steering wheel, Harman Kardon sound system. Pilot gives you 360 camera, blind spot warning, adaptive cruise control. Um, and a lot of our customers really like this too. It's the Google Maps right in front of you. Oh, that's that's actually really nice. Yeah, it's just integrated straight to. Yeah, so you don't have to look away. Dash. Yeah, it's just right there. That's a rear cross traffic alert. Or the pilot pack. Oh, right. I'll drive it up to that location. The competition of the like model, like model three, should that be? Yeah, mostly it is that one, but really all the EVs out there. Because this um, is still a sedan, right? It's a hatchback sedan. Gotcha. Yeah, because it yeah. opens up. Right, yeah, like, like that, the, the back so. part. Yeah. It's a really unique design in that sense. It's probably the only hatchback sedan as well. Yeah. Of this. Seems like it. Yeah. Right. Like a lot of the them. Teslas and the Taycans are both. Like sedan, sedan. So I'll switch with you up ahead there. Okay. All right. Cool. Steering is pretty light, isn't it? Yeah, like, you can adjust it as, as well. 
Oh, is it like this thing? Um, the top. Oh, gotcha. Oh yeah, I see that. Does it do like any sort of like you know? Because when I drove the the Taycan before, um, they had this kind of like engine noise, not really engine noise, oh, but like more the... like an electric car noise. Yeah. That displays uh, on the speaker. No, we don't have that. Yeah. So it's oh, just but like you never that. know if they might roll out updates like that over the year. It feels like it's gonna happen eventually. Too bad for the exhaust companies though. Yeah. Right. Because it's just artificial sound, I guess. Yeah. To kind of get figure out how they're gonna catch up with that kind of market. And this sport mode that actually turns off the traction control. Yeah. It's mm, pretty cool. Top speed of this one? 205. Really? Yeah. It's pretty good then. And what's the um the range for this one? Like city drive? 418. city driving right yep like i like how quiet it is inside no yeah. like when i close the window it's like you could barely like even the tire rotations yeah so same functions for like everything wiper and stuff like it still be this way exactly yeah i really like this yeah it's very convenient like, yeah like you just have the map there And this also gives you, like when it's regenerating power, is that what it is? Exactly, It'll sh that's a power and charge indicator. Um, if it's orange, it's power that's being used. If it's a white, then you're charging. So every time you put your brakes on it, kind of regenerates some power. Yeah, exactly. Does Tesla do that? Yeah. They do, do. they do it as All well? All the EVs do it. Oh, I see. That part I'm not, I have not dug into that information yet. Yeah. It's also pretty smooth. Like, that's the thing I think with electric cars in general is that, like, you don't, because there's really no sound, like, you just don't feel how fast you're driving. Yeah. Like, you look, you look at the speedometer and it's like, what? You're at 65? That's yeah. crazy. And these are all vegan friendly, I heard, right? Like the whole interior? Yeah, it is. What I like the most, I think, is it's kind of like a lot better quality than Tesla's in general. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's got the Volvo, a lot of components right, from yeah. them. I like the, the, the wood trim, or kind of like trolley plastic. I was hoping they would have like added a heads up display though. Yeah, the Polestar 3 is gonna have that. Oh, they do have it for yeah. okay. And then uh, turning right will take us back basically. Okay, gotcha. So there you go guys. I really hope that you guys enjoy this really quick test drive of the Polestar 2. Uh, this is the 2022 model by the way and obviously as they do more cars it, it's just gonna keep on getting better and better and absolutely this thing is an amazing car and obviously there are a lot of competitors out there that have some edge on, on this car but in general I think this is still a really good car especially having that hatchback uh, option or having that hatchback because when you go on longer drives or like vacation and stuff you could definitely pack a lot more stuff in there compared to the other competitors of this car and at the same time having that google um assist with you is just very very handy especially we're all very familiar with google assist now so it's a great car all right, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one again and at the same time, please do subscribe if you're not yet because I'm still giving away 500 Canadian dollars to one lucky subscriber once we hit a thousand subs and on that note, please stay safe, take care and make the most out of your day. Peace.